Okay, thanks for the opportunity to uh, talk here. Um, so I'm going to talk about uh, some geometry representation theory of double-hack algebra. I've been working for almost more than three years, and uh, the draft keeps growing. And I just um, tell you only a tiny part of the, uh, my project because of the time limit. But I'll be here for till the end of February, so we can discuss if you have questions. Um, so the goal of my talk is to just show the, some evidence between the relationship between I call a brain category or modular space of flat connection of the one spectral torus of SL2C with certain symplectic form. I'm going to explain is uh, some z my conjecture is so which uh, some relation between the representation category of uh, thread double affine key algebra of rank one, of rank, rank one. Okay, to tell you the story, so uh, let me begin by theorem by Oblonkov. Um, tells that the deformation quantization, uh, quantization of the coordinate ring of modular space of Laconis and character variety of one functional torus of SL2C um, in holomorphic, in holomorphic, holomorphic, uh, sorry, holomorphic in complex structure, complex structure J, I call it J coming from the SL2C. So the coming from, so this really the group is equivalent, is uh, uh, isomorphic, is the spherical da. I call it SHW dot is spherical da. Um, so I'm going to explain what it means. So the, the, the modular space of flat connection of, of one functional torus can be written the hypersurface in C3 in such a way that the, as a cubic surface, uh, two plus T square plus T minus square, where the T is a monodromy or holonomy as a one puncture, the puncture on the torus. So the holonomy is really it the takes the value in SL2C. Okay. Um, and it, so the X and the Y are holomorphic in complex, I call it J, coming from this SL2C. Um, and if you do the uh, deformation quantization, what you would end up with the, the following algebra. So the X, Y, and the Q combinator will give you Q minus Q inverse of C. And everything is cyclic, y, z. I'm not going to write down everything, but uh, just x and uh, uh, z, x, q commutator is y. And also, um, so no longer x and y are no, no longer commutative. Um, and uh, x square plus q minus q inverse, uh, y square plus q, z square, q one half, x, y, z. Uh, Q one half plus Q minus one half square plus Q one half D minus um, Q minus one half T inverse square. So this is this algebra is exactly the quantization, deformation quantization of this uh, hypersurface, and uh, so this is actually called the spherical double hack algebra. And the relation to the uh, double hack algebra is indeed uh, given here. So I don't have a time, so just you can just read in this board. Um, and I just want to study the, this representation theory of this algebra in terms of geometry of the homogeneous space for flat connection. Um, so the, to study first, before going to the geometry, I just want to briefly review the representation of Sprega-Daha um, so the, there is a polynomial so-called representation which sends the spherical data to the endomorphism of ring of symmetry functions um, of rank one. Um, CQT is a, a functional field with variable Q and T, and X plus X inverse is the variables. Um, and the X is sent to X plus X inverse, and Y is sent to the, uh, sent to the T x minus t inverse, x inverse, x minus x inverse, and the shift operator, and t inverse, x minus t, x inverse, 
t minus t inverse w inverse. So shift operator acts on x, uh, just multiply by qx. And z is similarly, you get the difference operator, but the, so the generator is just coming from the, uh, the relation. So I'm not going to write. So this is called McDonald difference operator. Difference operator. Um, so for instance, so this ring of symmetry function is spanned by McDonald polynomial, which is the eigenfunction of the McDonald difference operator under the polynomial representation, which whose action can be written as follows. Uh, since this is rank one, this L is an integer which labels the number of boxes of Young tableau of one row. Okay. Um, and furthermore, so to study the gym, uh, representation theory, so you just define so-called a raising or lowering operator, so which increases the number of boxes or decreases number of boxes. So this R is a raising, low L is a lowering, uh, and so on, P N and so on. And so where the L, L is defined by um, x plus q L t uh, q minus inverse L t inverse z and um, L L lowering operator is x plus q L t z and another polynomial representation they act on McDonald polynomial as follows P L is equal to some number. Um, 1 minus q3 to l uh, inverse t minus 2 p l plus 1 and the polynomial representation lowering operator so you just increase the number of boxes um, and the lowering operator decrease the number of boxes q to l um, 1 minus q3 to l minus 1 t to the 4 divided by um, 1 minus q to l minus 1 t square p l minus 1. So therefore, so lowering operator decreases the number of boxes. And uh, so in the representation theory, it's uh, the first thing is to study the finite dimension representation. Uh, finite dimension a representation arises when the, this lowering operator annihilates the McDonald polynomial. So therefore, the numerator here becomes zero, and you can just quotient the idea generated by this uh, new vector, and you get the finite dimension representation. Okay. Um, so I just want to classify when the finite dimension representation appears. Um, so the only denominator, uh, sorry, numerator vanishes, the finite dimensional representation appears. Um, so the condition is when, so the, I just want to rem remind later. So when Q is root of unity, so this factor vanishes. And also um, when T square is equal to Q3 minus odd number to avoid the denominator vanishes. Um, so you just cons I, I just consider odd power here, and the t square is equal to minus q3 um, minus n. Okay. So the, all the capital n, l, small n are integers. Okay. And then, then the, sec the two second and third will uh, banish the second factor. Okay. So when under these conditions, so the finite dimensional representation appears. And then I, the goal is to see how this finite dimensional representation appear from the geometry. So that's the goal of my talk. Uh, to see the geometry, um, so let's look at, uh, re recall that the um, not a Hodge correspondence, which states as follows, mod S F flat connection of T2 mod point of SL2C is um, diffeomorphic to uh, the module is a Higgs bundle of one puncture torus with SU2, where the, um, so this is a uh, module is Higgs bundle. So where the, the gauge connection at the, there's a puncture, so you have to impose a singularity, which, um, um, whose behavior, so the gauge connection, this is Higgs field, is one half beta 
uh, sorry, I shouldn't say, beta plus i gamma uh, dz over z. So I just consider the puncture, and then you just consider local component z, and the theta is the, the uh, angular variable around the, the punctures. So this is a ram uh, the ramification, time ramification for Higgs bundle. And then we go to the here, you have a parameter t. t is related by exponential, sorry. So the alpha and beta gamma, beta gamma uh, are Cartan torus of SL2c, SL2. So, the, so therefore, t square ramification is indeed related to 2 pi uh, gamma plus i alpha. Okay. So that's the relation between the, the monodromy of the puncture on the flat connection and the ra uh, time ramification on the Higgs side. So this is known to be a Hodge cross modulus. And it's a, since this is hypergala manifold, so you have a, I take i, j, k. So the i is a complex structure coming from uh, Riemann surface, T2, mod point, and J coming from character variety, or S SL2C. Okay. So that's the, the, um, the standard weight. And then holomorphic snippet form, which is omega k uh, plus I omega I, is written by I times 2 pi dx wedge dy mod 2z minus xy. X, Y are written there. Okay. Okay. Um, so moreover, so if you have the non-aware Hodge class one can use the um, Hitching uh, vibration. So the so the geometry schematically can be written as follows. So you have a MH to the the alpha in space, which is uh, parameter I trace of phi square, phi is a Higgs field. Um, so it's a um, complete integrable system. So it's a generic fiber. So this is Hitchin vibration. So the generic fiber are the in this case rank one. So the generic fiber I call it uh, board F is uh, just two torus. However, it's elliptic vibration have a degeneration at the origin. So it's called a global nilpotent cone. Um, global nilpotent cone. Um, sorry, I think the color doesn't work. The global nipotent cone, and it, so the the topology changes, and the global nipotent cone look like um, a fine default singularity. Um, it's it's the electric vibration and the singular fiber is classified as Kodaira, so therefore it fits into Kodaira classification I zero star. And the center guy is uh, the usual band G. And uh, um, so when alpha, beta, gamma are nipotent, or if you turn off the time ramification, so these uh, four divisor shrinks to the, the point. And you get the or original, the Piro case, uh, T2 mod C2. But if you turn on the ramifications, so uh, you have an exceptional divisor D1, D2. Uh, D3 and D4. So this is the geometry of the modular space of flat connections. Okay. Um, <coughs> okay. And uh, to approach the geometric representation theory of the um, oops, sorry. Of the Bafanke algebra, so I use the uh, 2D air model, two-dimensional air model, uh, whose target is this the character variety or Hitchin modular space. So, um, so the I use the trick. The physics approach is the 2D air model. So this is approached by Cook of Witten. Um, so the so the trick is to use a big brain. So the trick is to uh, use big air brain. So usual air brains are uh, the Lagrangian inside a simplex manifold, but um, so the 
the Kapustin Witten and the Guk of Witten introduced so called uh, canonical coarsetic brain, which I call the BCC, which is a line bundle over the, this target space, modular space of flat connections. Okay. And if whose curvature is satisfied the following condition F plus B is equal to a uh, real part of the holomorphic simplex form omega j, and uh, also uh, omega. Omega is, I just co consider 2D air models, of which is this Riemann surface mapped to the, the modular space of flat connection, and the omega is a sim simplex form in the air model. Omega ima is imaginary part of 1 over h bar, shifted, uh, so scaled by scale omega j, holomorphic simplex form. Um, and the proposal, physics proposal, is that the uh, if you consider the the algebra of the um, the open string whose boundary is BCC, specified BCC, is that the will give you deformation quantization of the target space, which is the Sprague Dacha, according to the Oblonkov theorem. I erased just now. So could you just say, what, is big B a choice you're allowed to make, or what, what would big B? Oh, this B field. Ah, sorry. In physics, 2D air model can have some uh, B, B field in the... Yes, yes, yes. And it's the parameter matching is as follows. So the Sprague Daha has a Q and T, small Q and T parameter. A small Q is, uh, here is, Identify 2 pi i h bar, and t is a ramification of the modular space for flat connections. Okay. Um, and also, to the um, A model, you can have a bunch of A brain uh, whose support is usually Lagrangian. Um, and you can uh, consider the open string between the, the BCC boundary condition and the Lagrangian support boundary condition. And you can consider joining, you get another BCC BL plane. So therefore, um, so homo BCC BCC acts on the strip, another strip. Okay. So this will give you the module of the Sprague Daha. So therefore, um, so given a, a A brain, you you have a corresponding the module. So therefore, so here the so object in the A brain category is the A brain BL over there. And uh, given the a BL, you have a corresponding representation theory. So that's why, so there's a uh, conjecture between A brain category and the um, representation category, Sphere Daha. Um, and I just give you the concrete example. So this dimension of BL uh, is just dimension of this home, home space of BCC. So it's a Hilbert space in physics language. It's given by uh, the Groton de Riemann log formula, CH, uh, BCC. So BCC can, is the line bundle. And also, brain, usually, A brain carries the uh, local system of flat connection, uh, unitary flat connection. So you can consider uh, the inverse bundle over the A brain and top class of the support L. Okay. So this is the uh, Hillsborough Riemann log formula. So usually this is a geometric uh, quantization story. Um, so therefore, when L is a compact Lagrangian brain, so dimension is the finite dimensional. Okay. So therefore, um, if you look at the geometry of the Hitchin modular space of modular space flat connection, the compact A brain provides a finite dimensional representation. Okay. And it was, since we saw the from polynomial representation, we have a candidate. And if we have a candidate for compact Lagrangian brain coming from Hitchin fibration, we can compare. That's not what I'm going to do the rest of 10 minutes. Okay. Um, so the Hitchin fibration is a complete integrable system. So the generic, uh, generic fiber uh, holomorphic in complex structure I but it's Lagrangian, the other uh, complex structure. So the, if you look at the, the generic fiber, generic fiber of the Hitchin fibration, 
I call uh, board f is always um, always the i j k always the holomorphic in complex i in the language of physics is a b brain and the Lagrangian in the other complex structure. Okay, so therefore, so that you have to tune. So this is always um, one over h bar uh, sine om theta omega i plus cosine theta uh, omega k, where the, I just take h is h the absolute value e to the i theta. Theta is the angle. Okay. However, so since generic fibers are always BA brain, so you have to tune, so in order for the generic fiber, the Lagrangian, you have to tune the theta always equal to zero. Otherwise, it mix the mixture between, simplex form is a mixture between I and K, so it cannot be Lagrangian. So therefore, so the, in order for the generic fiber to be Lagrangian, H, so the theta has to be zero. So this is a condition. And also, if you, com you can compute the dimension of the home space, um, BCC, I call it, let's call the B, B, C, uh, B board F. B board F, so you will get the 1 over h bar. Okay. Okay. So since if you use the groton de riemann log formula, it has to be integer. So therefore, so if you look at the parameter matching between q and the h bar, this will give you that the q has to be um, uh, root of unity, pi i of uh, some number, capital N, N is the integer. Okay. So which is the one I, writ I have written down here. Okay. So therefore, so the generic fiber will give you first condition and is the, the final dimension representation. Okay. Another uh, compact... Uh, so you see the evenness? Ah, uh, evenness, oh, okay. Okay, I, I will tell you. Evenness comes from the following fact. If you look at the, if you look at the, the, the fiber, so there is a class relation homology. Generic fiber can be written in terms two times uh, band G uh, union with I one to four D I exception divisor. So therefore, so this is two and the volume is four, so it has to be even. Okay, if you, uh, and also. Um, if you look at the, um, the exception divisor di, so di uh, is the, let's call the brain supported on di. So this becomes Lagrangian for genetic omega x when the, uh, the alpha plus i gamma, so which is the, the ramification specified for Higgs bundle, is proportional to i h bar. So proportional means it's a real. When this is condition satisfied, so the di uh, is Lagrangian with respect to omega uh, omega here for generic omega for generic h bar. Um, and if you compute, um, so this dimension of BCC uh, B, um, and also which is equal to c minus one half is integer, where the c, c is actually the relation between uh, q and t. So, so this is called the central charge. And if you look at this relation, so this, the, this condition will give you t square is equal to q3 minus 2k minus 1. Okay. So this is 2l, sorry, where l is integer. So therefore, so the, this brain-supported exception divisor will give you the second Finite dimension representation, and furthermore, um, at the end, so the you, you can ask the same question for band G. Um, I don't think I can write that. So brain supported uh, band G. Um, so the this band G is becomes Lagrangian when that this ramification satisfies the following condition. Uh, one half to alpha i divided by i over h bar is equal to uh, is the is proportional to i h bar, which is real. And if you compute dimension home BCC uh, b band g, 
So this is equal to 2c minus 1 over 2h bar um, minus 1, which is, uh, which is integer. So, the, so then, uh, so you, you just use this condition and it just plug into uh, e to the 2 pi i h bar. And it's, um, so if you use this condition, you will get uh, this relation. So, the, um, so this relation co will give you the third condition. So therefore, um, the, the band G will give you the third condition. So therefore, there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between finite dimensional representation of a spherical daha and the compact A brain coming from Hitching vibration. Um, so that's the story. And it, furthermore, uh, if you use the uh, so-called fiber cross relation, somehow, uh, sometimes the brain supporting uh, generic fiber can hit into the nipotent cone, and then uh, it splits into the two part of the nipotent, uh, global nipotent cone. So the module for uh, fiber is the extension of the sum band G plus uh, expressionally by the D1 plus D2 is splits into band G plus D3 plus D4 by using fiber cross relation. And uh, for instance, uh, some certain condition you can have the the extension module. So that can be understood as the brain is decayed to the, the two splits in the two Lagrangian brain when you hit in the global nipotent core. So therefore, uh, you can explicitly see the, the, the how the representation appear coming from this Hitching vibration. Thank you very much. Are there any questions? Maybe yes. I'll ask a question uh, since uh, the previous speakers mentioned uh, affine Youngians. Could you mention how this algebra relates to affine Youngians? Okay, so yes, I can explain to you. So the so this is the the story of the Catholic story of the 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 story of the morning uh, sessions, and if you consider uh, in in particular, so this Fregadaha can be understood as the algebra line operator in 4DN equal to 2-star theory. And if you take, uh, so 40, if you 4DN equal to 2-star theory uh, reduce, reduce on circle S1, you get a 3DN equal to 4 theory, 4-star uh, theory. And this, so, the, so this Coulomb branch of 4DN equal to 2-star theory can be identified uh, the modulus with flat connection I, talk, I talked about. And the modulus current branch of the, this 3n equal to 4 star theory, if you do the deformation quantization in the similar story, will give you uh, the spherical daha, but it's it's trigonometric version, trigonometric version. Um, so the Kriba diagram 3n equal to 4 is, for instance, like a SU2, which is gauge group, and there's that joint. Um, if you try to look at the Yangian version, is Young given version, indeed, you have to add one more, one more uh, hypers for. Then the Coulomb branch of this theory, and if you do the deformation quantization, will give you a uh, spherical daha of rational Turing algebra. Spherical rational Turing algebra. So this is indeed the Young version of the double Hecke algebra. So it's kind of a Lie algebra version of the. Um, Double fine catch, bro. So, th and it, 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 it's indeed a Hebrew scheme of points. Okay. Yes. And your case is not rational, it's not trigonometric, but it's like elliptic? Yeah, elliptic version. Yes. Yes, it's like elliptic toroidal. Yes. Um, yes, 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 yes. If you take the rank goes to infinity, you get the elliptic whole algebra. Uh, GL1 troid algebra. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. So, if you take uh, instead of one puncture, Let's say n punctures. Yes. Do you get uh, dark of a n? Uh, the a n type is just uh, increase the rank. Rank s sl two goes to s l n, or you just wrap the n and five rings. And if you take n punctures, you get uh, some diff algebra line operator of class s theory specified by this n punctured torus. Right, which is a quiver with uh, and vertices. Yes, yes. So, so, so I think it becomes like like this way, right? The quiver with this vertex. Quiver with n vertices. Uh -huh. uh, the quantization of its column branch uh -huh. gives uh, 
if you if you do it like an uh, elliptic version, it gives a, a toroidal elliptic algebra of uh, Gilles N, where oh. N is the number of vertices. Oh, I see. I didn't know that. Yeah. Maybe in a paper of um, okay. myself at Nikrasov and Shtashvili. Right. Oh, okay. So then maybe I should. Th there must be some relay duality between them. In that case. It's called non -duality. Oh, okay. Maybe I will learn from you okay. <laughs> during this day. Okay. I think uh, I should stop, maybe. <laughs>